I used to work for a um, a company, corporate. Used to be in corporate America. When my son, I was pregnant with my son, the doctors noticed that one of his legs was shorter than the other one. Mm-hmm. So once I finally had him, the doctors was like, "Okay, you got to amputate one of his legs." And I'm like, "Oh." Mm. Oh, I, I trust God. So let me go to someone else. So with my company, and I wasn't married at the time, but me and his father is my husband now. But um, the company wasn't flexible for me to go and talk mm. to different mm. specialists. So I went to my um, my company and said, hey, I got an appointment in two weeks. I really need to take the time off. It's very important. And they were like, okay. No, you can't take the time off because somebody have a vacation day. Mm. And I was like, okay, let me pray on it. So that weekend I went and I prayed on it and I went to my church at the time and the pastor was talking about how he quit his job and mm. all of this. And I was like, okay, confirmation. But God, I don't know what I'm gonna do or how I'm gonna do it. Mm. Right. So I ended up quitting my job. I went back to my um to my job and said, Hey, I said, I just wanna let you know I'm putting my 30 day notice in because I don't know what I'm doing. But I'll put my 30 day notice in. And oh, by the way, on Friday, I'm taking that time off. So I took the time off, um, retired from that job, ended up starting to clean. I took my 401k and started cleaning the business Mm. because I was like, I want to be flexible. So I started cleaning, but I really wasn't happy with the cleaning part of it. So um, years, a couple of months (laughs) later, me and my son's father got married and everything. But I'm the type of female, because I've been so independent for years, mm-hmm. I really just can't depend on anybody else's money, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I'm married. Yeah, we are married. That's great. But his vision is totally different from mine. He's a, me and him both are country beings, but he's so settled. I'm retired. We don't have to, why are you working so hard type of thing, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. So I ended up going to my church. I joined a different church from his church and um, joined my church. My pastor pretty much laid everybody off, including the marketing department. I'm sitting back like, why do we let go of the marketing department? That was kind of different. So I went to him, had a conversation. Hey, hey pastor, um, let me help you out with marketing. Keep in mind, I went to school for computer programming. I don't have a clue about marketing. Let me help you out the marketing. Let me give you three months to rebuild your team and then I will quit at the end of the, you know, be done with it. So I did, he never did help me build up the team. And I'm like, okay, he's used to me doing it myself. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yes. So I was like, God, I have a major plan for me. I need to go ahead and disconnect, whatever, whatever. I didn't realize what Set Apart and Chosen was until I told him that two weeks prior. Wow. So that's how I ended up to the place I met Within that time, me retiring from, well, me letting that position go, another bishop in Chattanooga, um, Bishop Kevin Adams reached out to me. I didn't know him, he didn't know me, but God led him to me. Hmm. I did a campaign for him for three months. After that campaign was over, I didn't have anything else. I'm like, here we go again. And then my pastor, co-pastor, his wife reached out to me and said, hey, can you come back in and help the church out? Wow. So not only was I was doing that, I was helping out ministries as well. 